Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you what is CloudFront OAI. Say you are sharing a lot of objects in your S3 bucket through a CloudFront distribution. Then there is a question of how do I secure my objects? Do I go ahead and create ACLs for each and every object or do I create a bucket level policy? So to answer these kind of questions, OAI is being the feature that Amazon provides to do that. So let us see why you need to use OAI. When you're doing origin access identity, you don't have to provide direct access to your objects in your S3 bucket. What it means is only CloudFront can access your S3 and there are no direct URLs. So in other words, nobody can hit your objects directly using their S3 object or guessing the object name and the bucket name. This also means that your content is not leaking and you have a very secure way of distributing your content to all your customers across the globe. So let us go ahead and see how we can set it up in our account. I already have an S3 bucket which is serving as a static website, but there are some ACLs that I have not given. So certain files will not be accessible and those files will still be accessible from my CloudFront distribution. So let us go ahead and see how we can do this now. Here we are in my S3 bucket and there are three files index.html, home.html and error.html. I have set up this bucket as a static website. You can see here it is configured to pick up my index.html and if a file is not present or an unauthorized file is trying to be accessed, they will be served with an error.html. If I click on this URL, it will be showing, taking me to the index.html page. So if I take you to my permissions page, you can see here I have not uh, given public access to anybody because it is given at the individual access level for index.html and error.html. If I go ahead and see, for example, slash home.html, I will be get an error page instead of being served the actual home itself because I have not set up ACLs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that if anybody wants to reach my home.html, they will have to come through my CloudFront and that CloudFront will be authenticated with a special user ID. So if you go ahead and see my bucket policy right now, it is empty. So let us go ahead and set up a CloudFront distribution and we will see how to set up OAI as well. Here I have a CloudFront distribution which is pointing at my static website already. If I go ahead and open that, we will be seeing the origin here. And let me go to origins. And you can see here the origin is my static website and origin ID is this. And as of now, I have not configured any origin identity. So if I go ahead and put in the domain name for my CloudFront, I will not be able to access the home.html. Let us go ahead and do that as well. So here is the domain name of my CloudFront. If I go ahead and put it in my browser, I will be able to access the content. Whereas if I go ahead and put slash home.html and I will be redirected to my error page. So let us go ahead and set up our origin access identity and then we will be able to configure our distribution with that. So for that, let us go to OAI and click on create OAI and I'm going to call this comment as OAI for CF for S3 to CF something like that. It's a it's for a user description. Amazon uses this comment to ensure the identity is created and this is your unique identifier. You should not be sharing it with anybody whom you don't want to unauthorized access or all those things. So let me go back to my distribution now and select my distribution and go to origins and select and click on edit. And I'm going to say restrict my bucket access here. And it is going to ask me, do I want to create a new identity or create an existing identity? Since we already created one, we am going to leave it as use an existing one. If you have not done that, go ahead and choose this option. So go ahead and select the one that we just now created. And here you leave it as S yes, update my bucket policy. Instead of we going and doing it, it is better to get Amazon to go ahead and update your policy. So the last step is go ahead and click on S on edit. And what Amazon is going to do now is it's going to distribute or it is going to send this change to all the edge locations so that every request will go ahead with this origin access identity and go to the 
our S3 bucket and try to build the files. If you go and check our S3 bucket now, so let me go to permissions and then go to my bucket policy. My bucket policy is now updated with the ARN number and also the OAI that we just now created. So the distribution is getting uh, propagated to all the Azure locations and it should be active in a moment. Let us go back to our CloudFront distribution and we will see that it is getting lo loading. Yeah, you can see that currently it is in progress and in a short while it will go ahead and pick up the changes and we should be able to access the home.html page without doing any modifications. It has been a while since my distribution changes are getting into effect. Let me go ahead and try and put in the domain name and followed by home.html. So there you go. I'm able to see the page that I wanted to share with all people without going ahead and changing anything in my S3 bucket or in my CloudFront by just giving an OAI. So that is how you secure content in your S3 bucket by not sharing the direct URL and just setting up an identity through which people can access it. And it will also ensure that nobody is leaking away your content and you are not losing revenue because of that. If you need any help in setting up OAI in your account, go ahead and put in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you with that. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.